topic is various ways of generating emf so as we know faraday's law so what is faraday's law from the faraday's law we can write vmf is equal to minus n into d5 by dt for for single turn what happens n becomes 1 then we can write vmf is equal to minus d5 by dt so that is second equation so we know that uh, vmf is equal to closed line integral of e dot dl that is third equation so and we know the flux magnetic flux is equal to closed surface integral of b dot ds so where v b is magnetic flux density and phi is flux linked with the closed circuit so what is uh, faraday's law i see here so whenever uh, circuit is having n turns kept in a magnetic field so emf is induced in the circuit right so so how much uh, volt is your emf is in your vmf is equal to minus n into d5 by dt right d5 by dt so we are taking uh, three equations three and four equation substituting in second so second means uh, this equation so here vmf is equal to closed line integral v dot dl and substitute phi equal to surface integral of b dot ds so that is the final equation vmf is equal to so sorry minus wrongly written so don't don't take minus here so minus don't take minus closed line integral of v dot dl equal to minus d5 by dt so is equal to d5 by dt in the phi place in the, in the phi place right in the place of phi so right surface integral of v dot ds so this is the voltage is uh, induced in the circuit right right now if you observe now if you observe the voltage is induced the voltage is induced this term must be non zero this term must be non zero this term must be non zero suppose b is time invariant and surface integral of ds is nothing but area of the flux linked with the circuit so that is also time invariant so both area and b flux density are time invariant so differentiation of time invariant components with respect to time so that means that is a differentiation of the constant so differentiation of constant becomes what zero so if the both magnetic flux density b is time invariant not a weight not time variant and surface integral of ds area of flux linkage with the circuit if it is also time invariant so both are time invariant so differentiation of the this term becomes time invariant so it will become it is treated as a constant so it will become differentiation of the constant differentiation of the constant is nothing but nothing but zero that means no emf is induced right so if the emf is induced this term must be non zero term must be non zero okay if this term must be non zero means non zero means so either magnetic flux magnetic flux is a time variant or or area of the flux linkage with the circuit is time variant 
are both magnetic flux density and area of the flux linkage with the circuit also time variant in such case so this differentiation of this term becomes non zero right so either this one is uh, time variant or this one is time variant or three uh, two are time variant then only differentiation of this term becomes non zero what is non zero then only emf is induced this equation is telling right so based on this to get an emf is produced in three ways so time varying flux is produced in three ways so emf is produced in three ways by keeping the stationary closed circuit in the time varying magnetic field so here b is time varying first case in second case by having the time varying area of the flux linkage with the circuit in a static magnetic field so the area of the flux linkage with the circuit is varying with the time how it is possible so by moving the circuit or by moving the by rotating the circuit in the magnetic field so then only the area of flux linkage becomes time varying third case both are time varying by having the time varying area of the flux linkage with the circuit in a time varying magnetic field so b is also time varying and area is also time varying so both are time varying so that is the third case so either way three ways in three ways we can generate the emf now let us see first one so a so stationary closed circuit in a time varying magnetic field so this is a closed circuit it is kept in the magnetic field so these arrows indicates the magnetic field so magnetic field here it is function of time so magnetic flux density function of time b of t so in figure stationary circuit is kept in the time varying magnetic field b of t right so as we know vm is equal to closed line integral v dot dl is equal to minus d by dt of surface integral of b dot ds right so so here b is the time varying uh, parameter so we are differentiating b so differentiation is taken into the inside of the integral so dou v by dou d dot ds so this is the emf equation so this emf is generated due to, due to the time varying magnetic field so that's why it is called this type of emf is called transformer emf so because this is the transformer action what is the transformer action so we apply time varying current to the primary winding then time varying magnetic field is developed on the core of the transformer this time varying magnetic field cutting the secondary winding then emf is induced in secondary winding so in the emf emf induced in the second one is due to the time varying magnetic field produced by the primary current so that's why this type of emf is called transformer emf this is called transformer emf right now by applying stokes theorem to first equation so line integral becomes surface integral so e is curl so del cross c dot ds this is the stokes theorem that is equal to surface integral dou b dot dou t by ds right now you have to compare this one this integral this integral so del cross e is equal to we can write so minus dou b by dou t this is the first equation this is the one of the maxwell equation maxwell equation so here del cross e is not zero it is not equal to zero it indicates that time varying magnetic field is not conservative and second one move 
doing the circuit in a static magnetic field. So what you are doing here it is, the time varying area, the flux linkage with the circuit in a magnetic field is achieved by moving the circuit in the magnetic field. So in the second case, what is happening? So we are uh, varying the area of the flux linkage with the circuit with the time. So that uh, how it is possible by moving or rotating the circuit in the magnetic field. So here magnetic field is steady magnetic field. Static magnetic field. So the technique is moving the circuit in the static magnetic field. So we are moving the circuit to make the